defend his honor, right? Yeah, it's the, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> then, then, then that's fine, then it's fine. No, nobody, nobody likes him anyway, except for, unless you're like a Fire Emblem fan, usually. Mm. Or you just are a really big fan of Melee and you like Fire, so you like, you never got on the Marth train. Okay, okay so, so we're actually gonna just go right into this loser's finals right now. Works for me, get to work more with you, man. Yeah, I'm fine with it too. Legit, elegant versus exact shaky. If my memory's correct, like these are like two of the top two seeds in this uh, event, so to see them so. meeting here in loser's finals is a quite interesting turn. Yeah, it's quite a testament to uh, Luis and Vermillion here. Mm -hmm. Not just Luis and Vermillion, but uh, oh yeah, it is Luis and Vermillion. Yeah, that sent both of these guys down here. Oh my god, so he actually got the back hit of Luigi's back air there. And that <laughs> brings back uh, GTX. flashbacks. Yep. Yeah, GTX. no. <laughs> every every time I see it, man. But either way, you know, Elegant's not gonna hasn't let that deter him at all. As Red Team has now got stage control, tries to go off probably for a gimp, and we're gonna see it here. That is no, not a dead fox. Probably not a good enough mash. And you know, Luigi's the type of character, probably the most physically uh, intensive character, because mashing like that's hard, man. You know, the thing I want to shout out Exax for is he was ready for that possibility because he teched off the stage, right? Yes, he, did. he was like, even though you expect Elegant to always get it, Exax was still oh the double kill off the up smash. That Very back nicely placed. That backer set up perfectly yeah. for that second kill. That was amazing, and now we're going to see Luigi grab combo trying to go off stage with the downers, but Ness air dodge too good. Oh, good tech. That's really hard to probably to fight through uh, the PK Thunder too. That hitbox is pretty crazy, man. Oh yeah, especially when you have to navigate through the tail first too in order to actually uh, skim the top of the Ness's head with the tornado. Absolutely, I love the spacing there from Shaky. Now we see Legit as well getting a double back air combo out of that up throw. Ooh, good retaliation by Shaky catching him with that up air. Going to be able to get that stuck. <laughs> what a grab. Oh, so quick. So, so slick. But the back throw, Ivan Slucker going to close out Elegant's first stock. And right now, honestly, pretty even, even though, like, the oh, never mind. Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay, Shaky makes it back. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed with Shaky's recovery so far this whole uh, this game because Elegant has gone off every single time to try to intercept and has not found a single opening yet. It uh, yeah. really shows what 10 years of playing the same character can do for you. 10 years, dang, man. It just, Brawl just turned 10 yesterday. That's right, yeah. So he actually, wow, so he's actually been playing next for that long? Yeah. That's crazy, man. Well, good stuff to him sticking with it. I know Legit also a, a character loyalist in his own right as well, correct? Uh, Yeah, he picked up he picked up Diddy Norris in the second half of uh, Brawl. I, okay. I, I think, yeah, those those two are the main ones, because the other guys, XX, of course, couldn't play Falco, Falco anymore, and uh, Elegant, I don't think, was playing Smash competitively back then. Probably not, like most of us that are, you know, anywhere between the age of 16 Ooh. and 22. Yeah, up there, perfect catch on the monkey flip by, yeah, by Shaky. And that time, that time, Elegant finally closes the house. <laughs> You're not getting away from me. He even drops down afterwards, right? He's like, let's see you up B past this. I'm going to spike you again. That was beautiful there. And now Legit taking another stock from XX here. So Elegant sitting with two stocks, everybody else at one. And a lot of these characters are actually very susceptible off stage. So, oh, yes. every one of them actually, in their own unique ways. Yeah, absolutely. And it's I, much more unique game. It's uh, it's what I think is going to be one of the defining features between these two teams, and one reason why Elegant uh, is probably going to have an edge in this doubles fight is that he's the most experienced edge guarder of all these guys. Absolutely, especially with a tool like the Cyclone, such a good move. And okay, great Firefox. Ooh, Good's really clean recovery. Out. Like, honestly, like we, we have to shout out Blue Team how often uh, they've managed to recover successfully against Elegant. That is not easy to do, but, oh, I mean, you see it right there, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can't get the right angle, the right spacing every single time. Sooner or later, Elegant is going to come out there and get you, but... Uh, of our boy Miho, you can't avoid everything. No, you can't. It's, it's true. No, you can't. You, JV3s are rare for a reason. <laughs> yeah. But looks like... We're going to be getting ourselves a battlefield pick. I know this is a stage that both Ness and Fox are very comfortable on. Oh, absolutely. Um, makes, makes a lot of sense. Also, again, Diddy Kong not quite enjoying this stage, especially because the platforms uh, forward uh, opponents so much space to get away from banana right. control, and that's one of the main reasons that Legit is able to offer assists in, yeah, and in the doubles. On top of that, you know, his, uh, his kill confirms are not as, you know, you're not as concerned about it in doubles, obviously, because you have a teammate to come and save you a lot of times, but mm -hmm. there's even a down tilt up smash is going to kill a little bit later as well, so which can be huge to steal out some stocks, especially if you're down to a one-on-one -on -one situation. Oh, yeah. And honestly, I mean, either any of these players, you know, you're going to be pretty, uh, if, if, you're, if you want that team to win, you're going to be happy to see any of them really in that one-on-one uh, -on -one situation. You know oh, they yeah. can do it. All, all of these guys, extremely capable. Elegant sent off stage right now, and blue team going for a 2v1, forcing Legit off stage, but Elegant makes it back on uh, through XX's uh, ledge trap. 
Right, Dash Tag gonna send, uh, that was legit, over to the other, to the right side platform, but he gets up aired by Shaky. Now he's gonna try to heal Shaky, only getting a couple percent, but every little bit can help sometimes, man. Mm -hmm. So we always say damage is damage, so I guess, you know, relieving damage is relieving damage. <laughs> it's, it's just as good, obviously. Absolutely. I actually really like seeing healing tactics be used with Ness and Lucas uh, in in uh, teams. It's very very unique and requires definitely a lot of good synergy. Yeah, and it, it just it shows the amount that they're optimizing their team play, right? Like recognizing every single downtime is a moment that they can be doing something productive. Oh, legit barely making it back there. Yeah, that was just by the skin of his teeth. But the lucky thing for him is because the battlefield blast zone is so yes. low, it affords him that much more time to charge his barrels up and to be able to reach any sort of height. I guess did, did, so. Diddy does have at least that advantage on the stage. You mm -hmm. know, I, I mean, I don't think he's bad on the stage, but oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> with the up B, I have to leave. <laughs> the thing that was so disgusting about that is we have Diddy Ott, and Shield at the ledge, ready to ledge trap you, and you're one way that you think you get past the Diddy, you instead die to the Luigi on center stage. Just right into his hands, but Elegant is going to draw. So is Shaky. I believe the PK Thunder uh, did hit. Yeah, I, uh, someone else. I believe it was legit. An absolutely fantastic body block there too. Yeah. Definitely. So, all right, so legit still at two stocks, but at 103% and keeps climbing. x only at 36 with two stocks as well. The blue team definitely looking a little bit stronger here. A uh, misfire. <laughs> misfire interrupting a PK flash. Let's look. They were both doing things a little <laughs> sketchy yeah. there. Hold on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The move is, called, is jokingly called PK trash for a reason. <laughs> Well, the interesting thing about it, it actually doesn't have that much end lag to it. So, like in a double situation, yeah. I could see you being able to control a huge amount of space with it. I've seen, yeah. I've seen Shaky confirm from PK Flash into like up air. Like, <laughs> he's, he's found uses for it. Oh my god, that's actually insane. All right, so here we go. Elegant finally getting a grab. Legit, oh. almost had that down air, and that would have been an amazing kill for the red team. You know, and like I said, every every one of these characters can die pretty soon here. So. And we have right now it's a lot of patience by everybody. Exax though finds his back air and finds it on uh, specifically the player with two stocks. So now they can comfortably kill Elegant knowing that he won't be coming back. Right, I'm definitely thinking that he's going to be the target here of the blue team's offense. And there goes a stock off of Exax. And wow, so no, uh, not able to take that from Elegant. He should still be able to make this back, especially with the support from Legit. And right now, we have Legit and Exax just fighting each other desperately to help control that ledge, but Shaky is the one who comes out on top, taking out Elegant. So now it is Legit in this 2v1, getting both of these throws, just keeping as much pressure as he can. And if he can find that kill, he does it. It's just down to a game of singles on Battlefield. Diddy versus Fox, Exax versus Legit. And this is where Diddy doesn't want to be against Fox, but Legit's making it work here, especially you know, you know, a player with such good mobility or movement capabilities, he can definitely make these platforms work for him here. Mm -hmm. All right, nice. Waits out the air dodge, gets that up tilt into a back air. Oh, he scout. I think he had that monkey flip scouted. Oh yes. Exax being, of course, extremely comfortable in the Diddy matchup. Regularly played against Zero when he was active. Right, even beat Zero at a Civil War as well. Oh, so, absolutely. Uh, definitely very capable in this matchup here. All right, just kind of dancing around in neutral here, just kind of waiting for an opening here. Nice. I like the Nair drifted away too. Couldn't get punished by a down tilt or a grab. Mm -hmm. uh, Forder actually lasting out to send now uh, Exax on the ledge. Legit just backing off, just not trying to force his moment to get this stock. Oh! oh and he oh, catches oh. the forward roll too! And that's that's the, the scary thing. When you're Diddy holding that banana and you see the fox and shine, you, you kind of have to try to guess when he's going to drop the shine when you throw the banana, right? It's like either he's going to drop it immediately because he's scared of something or he's going to hold on to it. And he, he bet on dropping immediately and he ended up eating not just the banana but then the F smash when XX read where he wanted to roll afterwards. He even gave it a little bit of extra charge too. That was some... Very nice play by Exax. And that, and, you know, um, Fox's F Smash. You know, it, I don't know if it's like how long the move is entirely, or if it's just the hitbox as a whole. But it just feels like it lasts such a long. Oh, time. Oh, the hitbox is active for eight frames. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's just <laughs> a fantastic move. That's the reason why the Exax. That's when you F Smash at, at the, the ledge. ledge. Yep. Yeah, it works so well because ordinarily a character has only one frame of vulnerability on their neutral getup. That right. becomes an eight frame window with his F Smash. That's something that you can really work with if you have that read. Uh, I played against uh, one of the other Fox players out here in NorCal and Friendlies, mm -hmm. uh, Sense. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did that to me uh, quite a lot, and yeah, it was, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun for him. Oh, of course. <laughs> I mean, you know, when you're playing Fox, you're like, man, this is great, right? Until you end up off stage. <laughs> Either way, we're Lilac Game 3. Uh, a place where you definitely don't want to end up off stage. Oh, absolutely not. You know, especially, uh, you know, we see just Fox and Falco could just side me through the stage and then just end up underneath it. We've mm. seen some 
crazy stuff happened, but hey, I know uh, I know Shaky and Exax are pretty confident and comfortable on this stage, so and I think they know also legit not a big fan himself of this stage. Well, the the thing is, legit and elegant were the ones who picked this stage. Right? You're right. So this, oh, this is an elegant pick then. This has to be an elegant pick because I was talking with legit earlier and he does not like my that. So oh yeah, yeah. This was an elegant comfort pick, which is which is fine. You always want to you know make sure you can do what's best for your team. But right now, uh, blue team has the stage control here. Luigi on one side of the stage, Diddy on the other, but they finally regain the stage control here. Yeah, legit able to punch his way through Exact's block, and then immediately afterwards, you you can see how much the tension lifts from the other player recovering when they can see that their uh, their teammate is running towards them, right? Like, whatever edge guard is happening to them usually falls apart at that moment because they recognize any button I press is going to be punished with me off stage and lag. Like, that's going to be a bad time. Absolutely. Now we see legit. Oh, going for the third back here. Doesn't find oh. it and instead has to die for it. He actually uh, got the kick, too. Yeah, he did the kick. And, like, even without the kick, he'd be forced to do barrels. And I don't think I think it was too low, being, yeah. this being Lila, to be able yeah. to make, make it back. The floor is so low on the stage. I think that's also probably why Elegant likes it too, because like you just pretty much have no chance of making it back if you get Cyclone Gym. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's it's that, and it's a it's a nice it's a very comfortable juggle stage as well, especially yes. if you have good sharking capabilities on the platforms. With Lu Luigi also has that. So. Yes, he does because I believe his up smash can poke through a little bit on the platform. Well, I think maybe on one of the, on the maybe on the center platform. I feel like I've seen it happen, but I could be completely wrong. I don't. I you know we don't see enough Luigi. <laughs> All right, so Elegant getting another grab. He's going to try to wait out that air dodge and then get the Cyclone. Not going to get it, but covering his landing with the neutral air. And oh, that was unfortunate. The pummel actually knocking Elegant away. He ran up to try to get his uh, up beast uh, Shoryu. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Elegant was about to get back thrown there, and at 144%, he very well could have died. Nest, best back throw in the game. We all know it at this point. Right, oh. Nice sports, yeah, very wow. solid stuff. They actually took this. Yeah, that was, yeah, I didn't expect that to die there, but and then now, you know, Shaggy's probably next on the list, and hey, never mind, he's going to be able to live. Then maybe that big knock is helping weigh him down just a little bit, but Elegant trying to clean it up, not going to finish, though. Wow, Shaggy holding on to life there. Oh, no, not quite, and no! Another failed edge guard losing, leading into an SD for the red team. That's twice now. You can't afford to give up stocks like that in losers' finals. All right, red team is up two now off that, but that back air will seal the stock. Now, legit trying to chase XX off stage, decides to head back to it instead. It's a grab, trying to set up for his teammate there, not able to cover it. What just happened? It, it looked like it looked like XX got hit by like Shaky's up air there, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. It was weird. All right, oh, okay, so legit. Uh, didn't manage to uh, help Elegant avoid a punish, but you know was able to punish the <laughs> or Shaky's punish. Mm -hmm. Now we're going up. No, he's going to drop him down instead. And wow, landing there to a back air. Is it true? You know, honestly, when Elegant's at the control, it feels like whatever he feels like to be true is right? true. Like he's, he's able to, to make everything work. I, I'm I'm actually <laughs> I'm still stuck on the fact that like Red Team won that with three stocks left over and they SD twice. Yeah, they that really that is kind of wild. I mean, that's not to say like it was a it was a complete spanking or anything, right? Because like they were taking a huge amount of damage on all of their stocks right. by the blue team, but that was very decisive. That pick of Lilat, uh, they were able to just keep controlling that stage, keep forcing uh, the blue team off to the edges, and then from there, uh, keep that momentum into the translating that momentum into kills. Absolutely. Here we go, shaky off stage again. No, he's going to be able to make it back. That great double jump and the air dodge. See them kind of just exchanging blows, but an you upbeat. cannot <laughs> do that against against Elegant. He is so ready to punish every single dash attack with Shoryu can. And you know, an Elegant is just so good at power shielding as well, so that that way he gets like every opportunity possible to I, upbeat you out of shield. I have to I have to give shoutouts for Shaky's thought with that PK Thunder. Yeah. That was really really smart. It unfortunately got clanked out by the Firefox, but he wanted to save XX there at any cost. Yes, yeah, so it was a valiant effort there. And now Elegant going to be able to make his way past the PK Thunder edge guard, and now gets a nair to back air uh, in retaliation, even catching the landing with the up smash. Oh, oh, almost catching that air dodge with the PK Thunder too. Some really scary stuff. Shaky not looking to be knocked out of this turn, especially after petitioning so hard to get a pot set up for this doubles event. <laughs> He's looking at first place. He wants he wants that pot. Oh yes. You know, and, and doubles is so you know so much fun to watch, man. You know I. I, I wish I could play it more. 
People don't like it out here, but out here in NorCal, we love doubles. Oh, absolutely. As you're seeing with this amazing action here, and now Legit and Shaky are both in, uh, susceptible to really any strong kill move here. Difference is that Shaky is at two stocks, Legit at three. And actually, wow, so Red Team actually still has six stocks. Yeah. I just realized that. Finally, though, Red Team knocked down two five stocks. But up until that point, I mean, Legit was able to hold on to his stock because he was keeping his formation so well. And Elegant, so far, just able to do a fantastic job rushing down and closing out things with the edge guard. So he's not left himself open either. There we go, though. Oh, actually, no. Exax also died on the other side of the screen. This is looking pretty bad. A two for one lead by the Red Team. Oh, I love that wait from Elegant there off the combo. He grabbed, he did an up there, and then he waited out to see the air dodge and then go for a uh, for a nair to then extend the combo. That Shaky was, made it back. That was so smart. He purposely angled his PK Thunder 2 into the stage uh, so he could yes. refresh his PK Thunder and then use that to make it back up. He yeah. would not have been able to do it with a straight angle. Right. Oh, oh my God. Trying to cover that at ledge with the PK Thunder. Ordinarily such a strong option, but Elegant was ready, jumped over it, and had time to land his up B. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> that That is some rude, rude gameplay right there. Absolutely. I, mean, I feel like that's just kind of Elegant in a nutshell. Like, when you just watch him play, he just wants your soul. Mm. Like, if, if, you can, if you can take the set and your soul at the same time, he, he always goes for the twofer. Oh, yes. Legit kind of smirking it off. And this, it's just, and this is such a hard situation where Exx 142 percent, four stock difference to make up. Is that a taunt? Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're <laughs> Elegant is openly taunting oh right now. Oh my God, Exx said, I don't care how many stocks I have left. If you disrespect me, I will get you back, son. And he did just that, even with the taunt to finish it. The thing is, after that happened, I, I glanced up. Elegant just kind of nodded. I was like, yeah, I deserve that. I deserve that for what I was doing. <laughs> the funny part is, too, even after that, Elegant, right after, right as he grabbed him and initiated the back throw, he stood up with a fist bump. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's 150% yeah. Fox. It's just always that funny Fox when players dead. do that like, early, because it's like when there's a situation.